it's a story that starts as a thriller, as someone invades the house where brother and sister live for many years, a family house. But then something else very exciting happens as well, which is they don't leave. Is that first we have the question of who is invading that, that, that house, which is the obvious question. But then there's another interesting question, probably more interesting for me, which is who are these people that don't leave when their house is invaded? So they both assume different roles, they're brother and sister, but they also assume the kind of father and mother roles to each other. Which is something I'm very interested in the intimate drama, the domestic drama, the violence and the transcendence of close relations. Their kind of mental problems start getting worse and worse, so those roles become more extreme. I won't be long. I think that there's an element of surrealism to it, that it's, it's much more interesting. And this goes deep into our psyche, I think, because it deals with, of course, with this element of, of relationships, of, of violence in relationships, but also with, in our relation with fear itself. What was important for me to happen in the music, it, it was that uh, in the same way the space gets shrink or shrinks. So we first have the whole house, then we just have a little bit of the house. I think a lot of the mystery is created by the orchestra and uh, and the lighting, and the, so we certainly haven't had any instruction to make make a mysterious atmosphere. But I think that the most important thing for me was that the music. Would, would create this increasing level of tension throughout the piece, because it's a, quite a short piece, it's one hour. Such an um, incredible experience for both of us, I yeah. think, isn't it? Yeah, um, it's an excellent opportunity. And very flattering to, to feel that, you know, an, an opera has been written for us, with us in mind. It's not like any other experience that I've had as a... Yeah.